Welcome back guys to another episode of Craigcraft Season 1. Let's go. So if you guys missed last episode, definitely check it out. Link down below in the description. We are rocking our uh, all decked out iron armor that is enchanted with some pretty good enchants. I'm not going to lie. They're not bad. Projectile protection 4 and breaking. Uh, protection, uh, projectile protection 4 and breaking again. So both those have kind of the same stuff. Uh, protection 3 and breaking 3 and then unbreaking 3 blast protection 4. So... Okay, I'd rather just get normal protection all around, but uh, it's better than nothing, you know, so let's go, uh, let's get going though. So today, what I was thinking we could do was actually do some more house design. So I said at the last episode that I wanted to do a lot of that, and I just finally decided that today would be a good day to go for that. Alright, so first off, what I did off camera, really not too much, just did some breeding, so I have a little bit more levels maybe than last time, not too sure. And then uh, also did a little bit of chest organization, but not too much. So I combined a lot of our tools and kind of armor and stuff and uh, made that just combined. So it'd be like we have a brand new iron pickaxe now instead of a couple broken ones. Stuff like that I tried to do to, to save some space. But what I really made some money on, and check this out, it might blow your mind away. Bam! 78,000. Yes, that is right. What I made all that money on is selling a lot of my gold tools some of the gold tools you can sell for are for like six thousand each so i had like a bunch of gold pickaxes shovels that i've just gotten from mobs and from these dungeons and sold all of those made a lot of money now there is a rule in the rule book saying you can't buy tools but you can sell them so if i find like a diamond pickaxe it's about to break I could just sell it and then make all that money back for it. you know what i mean so stuff like that i think will be super super huge for a series like this and really something I did not think of, because gold is originally a lot, so imagine if selling three golden ingots, that's about 6,000 each, It's because I think a piece of gold is like, I think 1,800, or maybe it's even 2,400, something like that, it's in that range, so, yeah, that's probably the way we'll make our money, so that's how I did, I did a lot of that off camera, kind of testing that out, and all these are the tools and weapons I kind of have left, besides my enchanted diamond stuff upstairs, so, yeah, I made a lot of money, so if we need to use any of that, and I think we will need to use some of it today to kind of design our house and stuff, because I think I will need some bookshelves, just, um, as a little bit of a of a thing to make my house look better. So I'll kind of explain about that in a little bit. But first off, uh, let us get the materials I'm sure we'll need today. So I'm going to take like a stack of these. I think we'll need those. I'm going to need like a couple stacks of cobblestone, I'd say. I think we're going to try to get at least three rooms done today, maybe. I think three would be a good amount. It's not too much, but it's like not, not too little. Uh, we'll need a couple chests. I'm kind of basing it off of a design, but I'm also, like I said, adding a lot of what I feel like would be, look better as well. So uh, if you guys are just kind of wondering about that, we need lots of trap doors or a good amount of trap doors, I should say. And uh, we, I know we have iron bars. There's some iron bars. And then what else? Glass, which I think we already, I don't know if we really need glass, but we could take some if we have any. Don't even know if we have any. I'd like more cobblestone. I don't really have that much. Could go mining for some. I don't know why our chest sounds aren't working. At least for me, they're not. They're kind of like fading out. I don't know why they're doing that. All right, there's some, there's some cobblestone. All right, take some glass just for fun, I guess. And then, uh, do, do, do. we'll take some of those. And what else? Anything else we really will need for this first, uh, first stop? I would like to make some paintings. We'll need a lot of paintings. So I like to decorate a house with, with them. So I don't, I don't remember how you make them. I kind of forgot. That's not good. We'll need more wood as well if we have any. Don't know if we have any. Uh, any more wood? Any more wood anywhere? Take some doors for fun. I don't know if we have any more wood. Because we don't have any upstairs. We could just get some really fast. I guess. There's a piece. I'm sure we have more though. Is it? Do we really not have any? Alright, there we go. There's our wood. Okay, then we got some extra chests as well. This is kind of all our stuff we take with us. On these adventures and stuff, so kind of why I just threw it all in there. All right, that should be okay for now, but I will need bookshelves, so I'm gonna probably spend some money here, or I could go try to find some in a dungeon. I know there are some in dungeons, but I think for this first episode, uh, I'm going to just buy some. Uh, I'll need like 12. That's a lot. It's a lot of money. That's the problem. Uh, and I know I don't have any, so I'm gonna have to silk touch one to pick it up and then just buy it. It really does suck, but I think off camera I'll try to go uh, and find some. So I'm gonna silk touch this one right here. I'll need to get 12. All right, good. That's not gonna break since it is silk touched. There's the only way we can make bookshelves in this. We have to buy them. That's kind of like just one of the rules I made. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh man, that hurts. That took us down to like 70, whatever it was, 74 to 48. That really hurts, but off camera, I think I'm gonna try to find bookshelves at this point. So I don't have to uh so I don't have to do that again because that did cost a lot of our money right there. But hey, if we find more gold tools in these caves as well, we'll also be able to get our money back very, very quickly and uh, make some profit, I'd say, as well. So let's teleport to the new house. To our new, I'll, I'll fix our teleporting point to our like actual spawn area in the house where we want that to be once we get it all finished up and stuff. So the rooms I was thinking about doing today are this one right here. It's big size, kind of like the side door if you want to call it or whatever. I hear skeletons. That's kind of scary. I think they're upstairs. That's not good though. I kind of want to check that out real fast. Do I have any dirt? I don't have any in that. I'm going to put all these up here because I don't need them all in my inventory right now. Alright, let's just build up with this, I guess. We still have our pickaxe arms. I didn't mean to take that, but we still have it. I hear skeletons. Are they on... Okay. For now, I am doing that because I don't want to be... I don't want to be attacked. I know this is not lit up very well at all. Uh, because I just haven't done that yet, and I might play with my brightness setting super high, so I don't, I can't tell if it's really dark, and that's probably not good. We're just blocking that off so nothing can kind of fall down on us at this point in time. Uh, okay. So yeah, like I say, was saying, we're gonna do this room right here. It's a good sized room. And then, uh, we're also gonna be try gonna try to do at least this room here and this room. So, got a lot of work to do. Really not, it's not like a super easy day. We gotta actually get some stuff done. If you can't do all three, it's fine. I at least wanna get one done. Uh, but this is the one that we're gonna start out with. So... Uh, it's kind of just like I said going off in of design, but also kind of my what I want to change to it as well So we're gonna put a couple bookshelves right here. I think that'll look good I want I kind of want to have a fireplace in the middle, but I'm worried if I actually make a Like a legitimate fire and have that like a legitimate fireplace again Like the one I had over here. I'll start burning everything up because last time if you guys remember it was burning all of this This is supposed to be like a grill thing burnt all this down right here And that was not good so I need to either fix that somehow or do something so I'm not gonna put the light it. I'm not gonna put the fire in it and light it right now. But eventually we will uh, get that done. So just don't worry on that, I guess. Uh, then we're gonna have hopefully is that that's four. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm gonna how I want to do this. Or we could have I think another. Hmm. That's okay. I'm gonna have two right there as well. We might even need more bookshelves. It's kind of kind of bad, but. If we need it, we need it. Okay. And then we got to start using the cobblestone. I also have to make a... Well, actually, I can use that crafting table backpack since I kind of know how to use it now. So we'll use this, play around with it a bit. Uh, what I'm thinking is we're going to have this go up probably to there. And then maybe put a slab. I think that'll look fine. And then put a block up there. And then we're gonna, how do you make stone slabs again? Check this out. So I think we can do this. How do you make slabs? That's not what I'm gonna make. Um, all right, there it is. So I think if you just do that, and then there you go. So you can make all, almost unlimited slabs. Not unlimited, but you know what I mean. You can kind of play around with it, and you'll see. So it's kind of weird. I don't know if I like that crafting method like very well, but it is what it is. So this is gonna be up here, kind of like so, and then uh, I think slabs will just go kind of around like this. I'll put one there just so it kind of blocks it off it looks a little bit nicer and then also we're going to want to add and i'm hopefully this doesn't affect this okay it will um hmm so i want to put cobblestone there to make that kind of match up a little bit better so what i could do is make this too too wide with with quartz it's not, it wouldn't look terrible, but then I, I almost have to make that one too wide. So there'd be one block there, one there, two there, and then, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave the quartz there for now, and we'll change it later if we want to. But it does kind of look weird with the quartz there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what you guys think even um, after we do this video and stuff. So see what you guys think of the first few rooms that we'll, we'll have here. All right, so I guess we got to do this again. Maybe you have to have it in there to be able to craft it. Okay, I guess you do. So that's kind of why it wasn't working before. I didn't know that. Learn something new every day. All right, so we're going to have it kind of be like that, I'd say. And then we're going to want to get rid of one of these, this wooden block here. I wish I had my actual tools to be able to get rid of these better. All right, because now I'm stuck. 
Great. I'm going to have to use my pickaxe. I hate using my pickaxe because I know it does have silk touch, but I will have to. I think just putting cobblestone down for now because uh, eventually it has to be uh, nether, um, nether rack. Couldn't even think of the word. It eventually has to be nether rack, but for now that's fine. Then we have these. So I think I'm just going to have these kind of, these iron bars kind of just lock on there because that looks like a pretty cool fireplace, I'd say. Could even put that there to make it look even nicer. But yeah, as you can see, it's going to have that weird quartz block there, but maybe the fire will cover that so it doesn't look as bad. Or maybe, let me think about this. Let me think about this. If we have this here like so, then we build that. Look at that. That will hopefully make it look a little bit nicer. So if we go, please no mob spawn and destroy my stuff. So if we go around here, I think it was, was it that one? Yeah. So if we go around here and put, though we actually, put, we actually can put those back. I should have just gone through. That was dumb of me. I was trying to, I'm, my mind's derping right now. I should have just gone through here. But um, we can go like that. Maybe that'll look good. And then, because you won't even see that because the fire would be there. So maybe that's how we cover it. I think that looks nice. And then we just have the last thing there. So yeah, the fire would cover that quartz area. So you really wouldn't see it as much as we had it before. So I think that looks a little bit nicer. Hopefully you guys do too. Uh, if we go back over here. So yeah, that's kind of how that side of it looks. I know it's not going to be completely even. We might have another set of bookshelves over there. Or we could... I don't know. Or we could just do... Um, I don't know. What could we put there? I'm thinking about putting maybe like a tree thing there. Hopefully that'll look cool. How do you make fence again? I'm kind of doing all this, a lot of this on the, like this, just how it'll look to, to me and stuff. And maybe you guys at the same time, just kind of testing the waters. Cause I'm not like a lot of the stuff I do off camera. Cause I spend a lot of time thinking about how I'm going to do each piece of it. But right now I'm just kind of going free build mode. All right. Why is there only these types of fence? All right. So it's like that. And then a couple sticks. Okay. So let's go to our crafting table thing, whatever it is. Get rid of all that. Uh, we need to make all of that. Actually, no, I, I don't want to. I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to put these in here. Okay. All right. There we go. It's weird. I don't know if I like the, how th this. That's a gate. I don't want a gate. Will that do it? All right, there we go. Make a bunch of those. I don't know. I don't like this weird. It's like weird to craft in this is this style, but it, I guess it works. So yeah, we're gonna I think have one of these here. Maybe that'll look nicer. One of these fence pieces here, and then have it. Maybe just have a piece of grass on top. Like that. That that doesn't look too bad. I think that looks okay. I would like to do it. I, I wish they were even on both sides. Sadly, they're not. It's fine though. I mean, we'll have some. They'll have some difference. And I think I want to put another bookshelf there actually even actually even here i know there's this weird amount of space here but you can also kind of see through the window so it looks fine i'd say or we could even put another bookshelf there if we wanted to <clears throat> just kind of what you guys think as well would be good how do you make a how do you make a what is that called i can't even think of what it's called trap door trap trap music all right so it's just wood all across the top that's fine that's easy to do so let's do that really quickly here. I do want to make a good amount of these because we will need a lot of these just in our... All right, you have to put the wood in there. I don't know why you have to put the wood in there to do it, but for whatever reason they make you. All right, lots of trap doors. Take all that back. So I want to have like one right here maybe and then one right there. Would that look good to you guys? I know, like I said, we have this weird amount of space, but if we want to put a bookshelf there, we can. It's just for now, I think it looks okay. So that's that. Then on this side, we want to have another couple bookshelves. I know we're burning through these things, but we're going to use a lot of them. Just to, I think they look good. I think they look like good decoration, good de decorational items in the game. Um, or we could even have it be, there could be one on each. Oh, that's going to, I got to silk touch it. Almost did that. That would have been bad because I would have wasted money there. Could even have them be like that. Because over here, I kind of want to have that same same type of design. I should probably close these so no mobs come in. Same type of design where that's like that. And then we have a, a tree piece there. And then in the middle here, I want to do a couple chests. 
You'll see what I mean. So like a chest on the floor and then also a chest up there. And then I want to have, hmm, see if we can do, how do you make, okay, so it should be like that. All right, wow, you get six from one? I did not know that. I guess we got that from the stone as well, though, so should not be surprised. All right, and then if I could do that properly, put that there. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know, like, this, I think it looks pretty good so far. I don't know, though. We could even raise this one more. Look, but Would this look better if it was raised? One more uh, fence thing? Fence piece? Maybe. Or just have, or just have it be two, two grass pieces there. I think I like that for right now. The two grass pieces I think look a little bit, a little bit nicer. Then kind of the same thing over here. I want to do two grass pieces instead of two fence though. So yeah, it's a very tedious process, but like I said, it'll look good when it's done. I hope. <laughs> I hope it will. Um, and then, hmm. Then I think I will need some wool. So we're gonna want to go and get some of that. So yeah, it's kind of just like a random room, and it really doesn't have any point besides just it looks kind of cool. I think it'll look better once we have the fire. We're going to want to put torches in here as well. So let's go back to our home. I want to get some torches. I know I have lots of torches, so I'm not worried about that. And I want some red wool. Do we have any red wool at all? I know we've used lots of wool before with stuff, but do we have any red wool? We used lots of wool making the back, uh, the outside buildings, if you guys remember that. But we used, like, all of it, I think. There's some right there. How do you dye wool again? Like, I already, I already forgot. I did it just, like, off camera when we made all that stuff. I think I'll need these. I will need to put them in there. Well, that's just going to be one piece. All right, yeah, it will. So I'm going to want to buy a bunch of those. And I know they're easy to get, but I'm just buying a bunch just so we can get... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to dye all of this to red. Because I know we'll need some red wool with the rest of it. We might not need it right now. But we will need it for uh, the rest of it, the design. Okay, so that should be pretty much good for this first room once we just get this last little bit done. I hope. Alright, so let's go back in. We'll see how it looks coming in from this side. And then we'll see how it looks coming in from the other side. So yeah. Alright, here's zombies. Where are you at? So yeah, I think it looks good so far. I, I hope that you guys do too. If you think I should add anything else, let me know. Oh, I forgot to make uh, some picture frames and paintings and stuff. So I do need to figure out how to do that and get that all done. And then these, I think I will put right there. And then how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three... See, I could put two right there, but I'm not going to for right now. Hopefully that's enough light. I guess I'll put one right there as well. Hopefully that's enough light. It should be. I forgot to do the trap doors on this side as well. I want to have trap doors like so. So you kind of walk in. I don't know. I think that looks cool. I think that would look cool. Ooh, you hear that train sound? Um, okay. So next we want to put the red wool here. This is going to be kind of like a seat, I guess. I don't know what I really pictured this to be. I guess it's kind of a little bit of a chair. Not the best chair, I do know. But it's better than nothing. And then our last bookshelf. So you look how many bookshelves you use just for this first room. We're going to put right there so it kind of connects to it. You have this weird amount of space here. I don't know if I'll do anything. Maybe we could put a chair there even. I want to put a chair there. So just getting one of these pieces of cobblestone. We could use something else. We could use wood. I think wood uh, will look nicer. So let's get a wooden thing, a wooden chair made. How do you make a... Where's my... Oh my I already use it all. It's kind of surprising. All right. Let's get all that. Thank you so much. Let's get all that. Just need one of those for now. All right. Yeah, I think just wood will look nicer there. All right, so we got to get a couple signs. How do you make signs again? So signs are made just like that. Okay, cool. Let's make a couple of those bad boys. Like that. Do we not have any sticks? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright. So we'll make a couple of those. Or six of those, I should say. A couple sets of those. And then... I hate how it gets dark there. But I mean, it's nice at the same time that you, I can search all that. And then just put the signs on the sides. That's kind of my easy way to make chairs in Minecraft. There's obviously loads of different other ways. Oh, if I can even place the sign down properly. There's loads of other ways to do it. 
But this is just kind of the easy, I wouldn't say lazy, but just easy way to do it. And it looks nice. Like, I think that looks like a good quality chair. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of this room. I do eventually plan on adding carpet to it as well. But I kind of want to have that be in match with the rest of our, at least, bottom floor here. So, I don't know what I'm going to do for color-wise um, with all that, yeah, regarding that. So, that's why I'm not going to do the carpet yet, but there will be carpet. It's not just going to be this kind of boring-looking floor. Or we could even do a design. I'm thinking carpet right now because I've not really used carpet a lot. Uh, just in Minecraft before, so uh, yeah, but for now, we're gonna keep it like this. Now, one thing I did forget to bring with me, and hope I don't have to buy many of these, is glowstone because I want to put like glowstone lamps kind of how I pardon me, kind of how I have them out here like this. I kind of want to keep that same design, so I want to put maybe one right there, uh, one right there, maybe one in the corner there as well, also because it adds more lighting to the room so mobs can't spawn. Um, all right. Maybe we could put another bookshelf there even. I don't know. But I like how you can like kind of come up to the window and look. So we'll see, we'll see. But this first room is pretty much done. Uh, let's get some paintings to put the final touches on it. How do you make paintings again? In Minecraft. I know, it's a, kind of a noob. I should know this. All right, so it's any type of wool and then just sticks in the middle. So not too, not too tough. We could even use this red wool. I mean, I know we dyed it, but we could even just use it just to kind of be lazy, not have to travel all the way back home. So if we put that there... We need to make actually some more sticks first. So let's just turn all that into sticks. Because you do need a lot of them. And then put the wool there. Alright, so we can make two of those. They are pretty expensive to make. It does take a while to make a lot of them. But we will need a lot of them in this uh, build. Alright, let's put a... Maybe a double... Does that look good? I know it's a, a bigger one. I don't know, let's just play around with it for a sec. See which one's... Look nice. I think the double actually would look a little bit nicer. Oh, did I lose that one? Sometimes they glitch out and you lose them. Might have lost it. I don't know why paintings do that, but I just they sometimes glitch out. We lost one there. That sucks. Oh, no, it's up there. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think the double one there looks fine. Let me know what you guys think. We could even add more, but you don't want to be overkill with them. Maybe a, a four one there might be overkill. Let's see if we can get a double. Where'd that go? Painting. Come back, please. Might have lost it. I don't know. For whatever reason, they just seem to glitch out. I should buy some. I feel like they might be... I don't know. Maybe they're not cheap. But maybe another one there. I don't know. I just feel like there's a big blank space in that section. So, yeah. We can just play around with them. See where they could fit. I don't want to have them everywhere, like I said. But the first room is pretty much done. So, um, let me just get... Before it's completely done, I'm going to get the glowstone thing. So, we are going to have to go back to our house. Okay, cool. I'm telling you, these rooms take a while. But they will be well worth it. I'm telling you that now. They will be definitely well worth it. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Let us... Do we have any sticks? Yes, we do. That's good. I want to try to buy some paintings. Also, I need glowstone. We have lots of... Okay, we have lots of glowstone dust. Good. So I want to buy it. I can just do that. There we go. Do that. There we go. We're getting XP for crafting. It brought us to level 28. I'm excited about that. Might even do an enchant today. It just kind of depends. Depends what we can get done and stuff. Okay, now. Now, 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 now. I want to do this. Make three of those. And I want to see how much these cost. 90 say, so they're about 100 piece. Uh, man. Trying to think if that'd be a good thing to do or not. We'll buy a few. Okay, so we, we have 11 now. So that's not, I know we're going down in money, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get a lot of money at the end of the last episode off camera with selling stuff. Because I knew I need it to kind of start the house and keep working on the house. So I'm kind of glad at the same time we're doing this. But it is a little bit of a uh, pain. It's pretty expensive. All right, let's take this back out. So I don't, unless we need it though, we might need it. I want to try to get an axe. I know I have an axe somewhere. There we go. Whew. All right, now we can just go back. Actually, I don't think we need anything else. Hopefully not. Back to the new house. Let's go see what it looks like coming from the side now. And also the windows as well. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks cool. And you got this other side over here. I like on the mini-map. Like, the mini-map makes our house, like, really, really sick. I do do think that looks nice. And I want to do more, maybe more decoration on the outside as well. I might want to add one of those over there and stuff like that. We'll figure it out. But we're going to save the outside definitely for last. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to do first is add in the glowstone. So I think the first one I want to do is 
do, 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 I might need more glowstone. No, nah, pr probably not. Prob Actually, because the glass is going to go there. That should stay. That should stay. This, um, glowstone there. No, actually, I think I'll only need that piece there. Because that all has to stay like it is. Okay. Cool. Same thing over here. Put the glowstone down. And the glass down. There we go. Now I want to kind of have them on these sides as well. Right next to the walkway here. And then after we finish up the, the house, all the inside stuff, we're going to go through it. Because there is a way for you to check the lighting. If you guys didn't know, there's a... I don't know where it is exactly. It's light. So ours is... 12, 0 sky, 9 blocks. So when it's a certain level of block, and I don't know what it exactly is. If you guys know, let me know down below in the descript uh, in the comments. But there is a like a certain light level that mobs can spot. Like, look over here, it's 1. So that means it's super, super dark here if I turn my brightness down. Um, so I want to make sure I don't have these really dark spots because then mobs will spawn here. That's why they're spawning upstairs in the, in the upper part of our house. Not good. All right, but I think that looks fine for now. That looks uh, good. These are in line, so it looks nice. And then you can see through the windows. So, yeah. First room, I'd say, is, is pretty much done. Obviously, we're going to add more carpets. Might add the fire in the fireplace and stuff like that. But first room's pretty good for now. All right. Moving on to the second room. Uh, second room's a little bit different. It's more... so I, We have this room over here, which I think is going to be more of our kitchen area. But this other room, kind of behind us, what we're going to be starting right now, is... The dining room. So we're gonna want to make it look super, super good. I don't even know if we can do it all right now. It does require some pretty interesting resources. So we'll see how well uh, we will be able to do with it. But first off, um, I don't know. First off, I think we're gonna want. Hmm. I don't know what to use here because there's different blocks we could use. Maybe the sandstone would look good. Hopefully, hopefully it does. So like right there, maybe, and then mm, one, two, three. To be two in between. Yeah, I'd say that looks okay. And there'd be two in between, so we need there to be one, two, and then here, and here. So it's gonna seat four people, which should be fine. Then we kind of want to have more signs made. I know I don't have enough right here. It's gonna look kind of weird right now, but trust me, it will look cool. Okay, so four signs made. We're going to need more signs as well. And also doors. So maybe I want to go collect some wood. I think that would be a wise thing to do. And it's nighttime now, so I probably shouldn't even be going out at the night. Let's go this way. I haven't really traveled out here too much. There's, well, there's trees over there. Actually, we have traveled out here quite a bit. I'm going to go collect some wood. I'm going to take the headset off for a second. <clears throat> Give my head a break. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, like the house will, like I said, it's very, very much a tedious process. And that's generally why I did all of the outside off camera. That would have taken me in so freaking long. I spent well over four hours alone, uh, not even just collecting the resource because we could just buy a lot of them. Like that would have taken longer if we couldn't have bought them. We spent so much money buying them. Like we could have so many diamonds if we got all that quartz back because we sold a lot of our own things. Um, we went and just found the stuff in the dungeons, all the money. So we did a ton of stuff um, just to get the quartz. But then I had to design it, and that took ages. Like I said, well over four hours. And I don't think you guys would want to sit through that because it would have taken me much longer on camera because I had to um, just obviously think about what I want to make and stuff and how it's going to look. Because the outside kind of with the design I'm basing on and the outside that I am uh, that I did is, is quite different, actually. So that's kind of why that took a lot longer than maybe it should have, but... It's so whatever. Got the outside done at least. The inside is a very, very tedious process as well, but I don't want to rush it because I want to make sure I'm getting everything good and it makes it look nice and stuff. But maybe, I don't know. Like, it'll never be complete fully. Like, there's maybe always stuff we can do to it. But I want to have it be looking very, very nice and fresh and clean. And especially because uh, I, I know that's what you guys would like as well. So we're going to get a good amount of wood here. Not really explored much past this big forest here. I mean, what I can see is just uh, big... Um, Big mountains and stuff like that. Huge, huge uh, mountains around here. But that's about it. There's not really too much. It's big extreme hills biomes. 
So we'll see if there's anything else over here. Hopefully there's some cool dungeons. So I know the, at least I think, the water temple is out there. Maybe where that S is? Or no, that's, or is that, no, that's not spawn. I think, maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of confused with my coordinates now because I moved houses and stuff, but or, no, I think that is spawn maybe. So our water temple is somewhere around here. It's not terribly far away, which is good. All right, maybe one more tree we're going to cut down here, have about a stack of wood, and then we're going to go back to the building and stuff. So, yeah, it's just, it is a long process. Hello, Mr. Chicken, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? We got a dungeon here, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the vertical dungeons. We not ever faced the boss on top yet, which we still need to do. But I'm just not a big fan of vertical dungeons for whatever reason. They just don't seem to have good loot. Now, I know I've not made it super tall on the very high floors of them, but they just what I, what I have seen, they have not been very good paying out with the armor and stuff that we've lost due to mobs and everything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are you guys doing? See, that's what I'm scared of. I need to like light this place up and make sure it has defenses and stuff. I'm going to try to do that the best I can once we get all the inside and stuff done. Because that'll be the next challenge, just to make sure after the inside's done, to make sure the outside's well guarded and stuff. And I want to have it so there's like a wall here that'll go up with the press of a button. Or maybe if it's just daylight, it'll go up. Anything like that would look cool, I think. So going back in. Got to check for mobs first. Don't see any. All right, cool. They're probably upstairs. But that's why I kind of blocked that section off. All right. Uh, let's just make a normal crafting table. I'm kind of sick of using this this uh, work, work crafting table thing, backpack. It's just not not working too well for me. So let's make a crafting table, a legitimate one this time. Let's put it right here. All right, good. Now I can actually craft properly. So let's make some doors. Do need some doors. So let's do that. We'll make we'll need at least four, so I'll have to make two of those, which is fine. I, need, I want them to all be the same. That's why I'm not using the birch doors. But we want them to kind of be like this. And this is our, these are the chairs, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. These are the seats of this kind of dining room, dining table design. <clears throat> and then, how do you make signs again? Already forgot. Already forgot. It's an advanced sign. I think that's for the... Okay, it's like that. I think that is for the... One of our other mods that we have installed on here. But I'm not really... don't think I'll ever do anything really with that too much. Alright. So, you know what? Just turn all that into that. Is that how you make a sign? Yeah. Cool. Make a bunch of those. Okay. Cool. Making progress, guys. Making progress slowly but surely. I don't want these signs to say anything on the sides here. So I'm not going to put any messages or anything. I could if I wanted to, just to be funny. But nah, for now, let's just chill. Make it look clean and fresh. All right, cool. So that looks good. On this back part here, I want to have... Inventory's already getting filled up. I want to have, I think, what I've been using before with this. These trees. So then it goes up to... And then we have the pistons in the middle, which the pistons, I'm not too sure. Like, I think we have them, and hopefully they're not too expensive if we have to buy them. But I'm just not too sure what exactly to do about them right now. I think the top, we're going to have something like, so the middle four right here. So one, two, three, four. And then we will want those again. Okay. So these are going to go just kind of hanging on the bottom. This is the light fixture or lighting of this room. And then on, this, on each of those, we're going to want to have a picture frame. I don't know how you make picture frames. I think you need leather. Uh, frame. Item frame. All right. It's just a piece of leather and then sticks all around. So let's go do that. Home, teleport. Where's our leather? There's our leather. Inventory is already filled up. But luckily, we can just teleport. So we don't have to waste time running. Because that would even make it take longer. If you had to run back and forth. That's why I really do like the teleporting mod. That's probably the most crazy thing, like I mentioned before, that's not a legitimate Minecraft vanilla type thing-ish thing. Like, some of the other mods I have installed here are definitely, like, mods. They're not, like, in normal Minecraft or anything like that. But they don't change it up that much as much as the teleporting one does, I'd say. Throw that out for now. Um, okay, so let's make a bunch of these. Is that really all we're going to make? Not make enough sticks, then. All right, we're going to make... A lot more sticks this time then. Hopefully that's good. Throw those to the side for now. I need to make a chest or something. 
Or I could just put a bunch of this stuff in my backpack. Alright, that's a lot better. Alright, can we put some of this stuff in the backpack? Cool. Okay. Now I want to add those to the side there. And I want to put glowstone inside them. I think that'll look cool. I'll put really any item inside it. But, like, does that look good? Okay, they kinda, I know they kind of hang below. But you can't really see them if we have all four. You can't see the inside part very well. You kind of can. I don't know. I think that looks okay. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. This is going to be the lighting. So this is supposed to be like a chandelier. There's many ways to make it different different types of chandeliers in Minecraft. Uh, that's the way I'm going for. Now I wanted to see on the sides here what... Is this just the wall? Okay, I thought it was. That is good. Okay, that's not though. So we're going to have to leave that kind of be a double, double block thing there. It's fine. So the wall should go all the way to the ceiling if I'm right. Okay, cool. And on the other side it should just open up to the to the outside. Is that a wall too? Okay, cool. It doesn't matter if that's... Because I don't think so. Is there anything below that? Alright, there is. For now, I'm just going to put a quartz there. If I want to change it later, I can. Alright, so we have this big wall to kind of play with, kind of work with. So, I didn't know if I should use the same color tree. I probably should. I think that'll look the best. Oh man, I'm wasting, wasting tree pieces here. And in the middle, I kind of wanted to have it be like an interesting design with staircases and slabs and stuff, but I need them to be um, a different type. So I want to go back home, put some of this stuff away, and actually, nah, we'll just take it with us. Uh, I want it to be stone bricks. So I don't, how do you make stone bricks? I think it's just normal stone, right? So should we smelt a bunch of our cobblestone? I guess. Just smelt a bunch of this up. All right, cool. So I'll get some stone bricks. I'll see if there's any more upstairs. I don't think there is, but we might have some. Okay, there's one, actually. Stone bricks, I think, for this part would look better. Okay, we have 10. It's good. Chisel looks cool as well. There's a stone brick. So we have, like, oh, okay, there's our there's our stone. I thought we had some normal stone lying around. We do, gladly. We'll still let that cook up so we can have some extra, and we'll get some XP from it. Let's do that. Let's go back here. Uh, let's turn all this into stone bricks. I think that's how you do it. Cool. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, this wall on the side here, I think I want to have it be a little bit different, a little bit interesting than just normal. Um, okay. So, how are we going to do it? How are we going to do this? Let's figure it out. The first part, I want... I, I, maybe all stairs, even. I think all stairs... I know it kind of sounds weird and looks weird. It will look weird now, but I think stairs would be the best. So maybe have one like that, have one like that, have one like that. For this one, hmm, maybe like that. That looks weird. Okay, I'm not having that. I want it to be an interesting shape, though, or something. See, I want this one to be lower, though. Like that maybe? It doesn't look it kinda looks weird, I know, but I kinda wanted it to. Alright, that looks bad up there. That piece I have to have going shoot. This piece I have to have going this way. This piece I'd rather have like that. So maybe, maybe that? Does that look cool to you guys? Like, I don't know. I, I, it's an interesting design. It's supposed to just be a random kind of shape. I, it really had no certain purpose. But it, just something to decorate the wall to give it a little bit more of a pop. You guys know what I mean? Can't do it on this side, sadly, because it is only a one space. But any other places in this house that we have, like, two place or two block wide walls, we can do something cool like that. Maybe we can't put glass in. Well, no, wait. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't put anything in there. I wish you could. You could put a slab in there if you wanted to, I think. But uh, I think it looks fine. I think that looks good. Hopefully you guys do as well. On this side, I'm thinking big picture frame. That is, I'm following the design with that part. I think the design showed a big picture frame there. That's what I see on here, kind of. Um, and yeah, like that. I think that'll look fine. Big picture frame like that. Fits in there nicely. Then we've just got left the um, these parts. So 
We're gonna have to cut this out there. Cut all this this out all through here, I should say. All right, all the way to the end. If there's anything else I should add here. Like, I don't want the rooms to be too cluttered, but I think this is a, a good size room. Then the pistons are gonna go here. I know this isn't the right tool, but I'm using it anyway. We're gonna make uh, one, two, three, four, eight pistons. That's a lot, I know, but we'll need a lot of those. We'll need red, eight redstone torches at the same time. Okay, let's put a chest down for a sec. So we actually just put some of our stuff away. The backpacks take up a lot of space. I probably shouldn't have all them on me for this type of mission or this type of episode today, but we just have them anyway. What did I put in here that I didn't want to put in here? Okay, that's good. Alright. Let's actually switch those out, put those up top for now. So I can have my tools and food next to my backpacks there. Alright. So yeah, we're going to want to make some pistons, unless we have some. We probably might even have some, I don't know. Not sure. Let's go check. Because I don't think they're very... I don't think they're very expensive to make. Maybe they will be. Who knows? And that's not a rule. You can buy them and stuff. Or craft them. Whatever. So we'll see if we have any. For some reason, I thought we did. Just by collecting them randomly in dungeons. Or in... Yeah, probably in dungeons. Okay, there's sticky pistons. I don't know if they, they... I don't think they need to be sticky pistons. They can just be normal pistons. So I don't want to waste the sticky ones. How do you make a normal piston again? Another question I have. Piston. Alright, so the sticky ones you make just putting that. Alright, ooh, it's kind of, ex eh, kind of expensive. I mean, you're wasting iron per thing. So you need iron, redstone, cobblestone, and that. So we'll just need to get grab some iron and redstone. Okay. We'll take eight in case they are too expensive. Uh, let's go back to the new house. Teleport. Yeah, I need to make this spawn point back inside so I don't have to run every time in, in but for now it's okay. Alright, so now let's put the uh, the stuff in our crafting bench and everything. I've not really ever made pistons. Like, this is like, I think one of the first times I've really ever done it. And I think cobblestone's there, right? So I just want to make one for right now just to see how expensive they will be. So, teleporting back to the home. Teleport. So, yeah, let's see how much we can buy these guys for. 436! Holy cow! That's expensive. Okay, I'm not gonna... Not gonna do that. That's too expensive for me. If they were like 90, maybe. But 436 is ridiculous. That's too much. I'm not wasting all of our cash that, uh, that easily. That is bad, man. Okay, so we'll need another bunch of these. Alright, so one, we'll need eight, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven. And we just need a bit more of that. A bit more wood. So we can put the rest up there. Cobblestone. Perfect amount of iron. There we go. Alright, so eight of these guys. We'll need some redstone torches as well. So I'm glad I brought some extra... <clears throat> some extra ones, or some extra redstone, I should say. So, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. I don't know if you get more XP for crafting, like, rare items, or more expensive items, or you just get the same amount for crafting, like, a, yeah, a sticks with redstone. I don't know, like, if you get more XP for crafting the better items or not. Not sure. Alright, so then we're gonna put, wanna put these guys down here, I think. And I want them to go this way. Like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, so the redstone's just gonna go below all these guys. The redstone torches. Should pop them up. All right, so those guys are all popped up. We just got to do these last last couple here. And then we are good with that. I want to put a, like a tablecloth, an actual tablecloth, what something would look like on here. That'll look nicer, I think, as well. For this bottom part, though, I want to fix that up a bit, too. 
in my glass and glowstone. So yeah, hopefully we have more wool. So I, don't think, I mean, I can just shear my sheep, though. So it's like, why does it really... Probably doesn't even matter. Alright, just like that, I think. At least on the two ends. Alright, another glass set there on the two ends. Then do we need any in these middle parts? Like, I was... Wondering if we need any, maybe we do. Maybe I don't know if see like, like things like this. I don't know if this is overkill or you think guys think it would look good. I don't want to have them be on the ends like that, but maybe this would look good if we have more glass. We don't even have more glass. Shoot back to the home, back to the home. We're gonna want to grab some wool as well if we have any extra wool. Yes, we do. Uh, more glass, please, please glass be somewhere. Do we not have any? Please, please. I don't think we have any. Unless I'm just blind. I don't think I have any. Okay. Gotta get sand, though. Do we have any sand? Yes, we do. We can stop the cobblestone smelting for now. See, look, it doesn't smelt when I'm not around. I don't know why it does that. Unless I need to just, like... A mod I was thinking about originally installing on here would be, like, an automatic smelting mod. Um, so like right when I put it in automatically smelts it Let me know what you guys think of that if I should do something like that or not Like I feel like that's very like much straying away from vanilla minecraft But it's really just saving time because we're not Wasting time just sitting around for this and especially I have to sit here for this stuff to smell because I can't I, it Apparently it doesn't smell when I leave. I don't know why it does that. I'm just gonna buy some. I know I'm being lazy here But I can't wait off camera I need to just smelt a bunch of stuff that I need smelted because otherwise I'm just wasting time for you guys. That's not good. All right. Oh, throat is parched. Let's go back to the new house again. Got our wool. What do we need the wool for? We needed that for the uh, tablecloth. That's what I'm going to call it. Is it tablecloth? I guess you'll see what I mean. So we're going to have that all. Is that how you do it? Oh, no. It's like that. Okay. This all like so. So, yeah. I mean, we could have even done this a different color. If you really wanted to, but for now, that looks good. The glass will... Wow, why do I always do that? Glass will go like that. So yeah, we just need to do this last side, and then we're done, I think, with this room, which is nice. Like I said, if I want to add any carpet, I will do that. Don't worry. Oh, I went too low there. It's fine. Oh, no, I didn't. That was dumb. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, this room, I think, is pretty much done. Let me know what you guys think down below obviously um if you guys think i should add anything else let me know i might add some like a fern here or like a fern there kind of what i have over there but just in these corners but uh should we do another room today i don't know we've done two rooms i thought we might be able to get three done the next room kind of what i have a design based off of it. and this isn't even all the same house like some of these designs are from other minecraft houses like you can literally just google like minecraft kitchen or minecraft living room or whatever and you'll get loads of different designs and that's kind of what i'm basing mine off of but i'm also like i said adding my own feel to it what i what i think looks good to my eye uh so yeah they're not all from the, like the same exact house so this one like this room will probably take a while if i want to kind of do it how somewhat how this design looks so i might even do either do this one off camera maybe even do both of these rooms off camera because this one will take a while it's a much bigger room than those these two as you can see took a long time anyway because I have to get all the resources. Like, the problem is I don't have all of the resources. And I wish I did. Should I make this one too high since all these other ones are? I feel like that might look better. Let's just check that out. Just just looking at that for a second. And now I'm going flip-flopping flip back in between rooms. But, yeah, maybe that'll look a little bit better. I don't know. Whatever. So, yeah, maybe I will just do this room off camera and this room off camera. Show you guys. Because you've, you've seen what I've done so far. It's really just a very tedious process. But it does look nice. I, like, I think that looks like a genuinely good living or dining room for Minecraft. And this one looks like just a genuinely cool looking room as well. Um, with all the, the open windows, the fireplace, and uh, just this back door section. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. But today for the rest of this episode, or for a little bit more time this episode, I don't want to make it too long. It's already been pretty long as it is. I'm going to go and try to get enough levels to do at least one enchant today. I like ending the episode at least doing an enchant or a couple, whatever. So... Hold up. Before we do that, let's go back to new house just real fast. I forgot to do something. Don't even really need to do this, but I would like to just so I have all my resources that I know of in the same spot. Oh, I need to eat. I'm going to put these all in here for now. 
All right, do we have any? Don't have any other chests, so we're gonna have to do this. Make a chest. All right, let's put this chest down. Just put a bunch of these extra resources in here. All of our building and stuff. All right, so now let's try to get back home. We're gonna breed the animals up a little bit, <clears throat> and then hopefully do an enchant because that would be awesome. If we can get that done. See, this stuff doesn't go. I don't know why it does that. Maybe there's something I have to do in the, the mods that I haven't solved to do to make it work. Let me know what you guys, if you guys know of anything that I need to do because it's not working. I don't know why. I mean, it is making it harder in that sense. Maybe that's good, but that's a little bit too hard in my opinion. That's just kind of annoying. All right, any chicken eggs? Loads of chicken eggs. Thank you, chickens. I appreciate you guys so much. Do so much for me. We're starting to grow you guys out well, too. Got one baby there. This guy's stuck in a corner, apparently. Don't want to accidentally open the door, because that's really bad when I do that. So I'm going to stand this way, because the door is right behind me now, so I can't accidentally click it. All right, very good, very good. Breed up very, very nicely. Please, 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 please. All right, almost level 29. You guys are all fed. Happy to go. All right, piggy wiggies are freaking out here. Oh, wait. Wh why was I trying to feed wheat to them? That's my mistake. <laughs> my mistake. My mistake. My mistake. They are freaking out, though, in that side for some reason. In that side of their pen. All right, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's hard to feed these guys, though, once there's so many in here. Like, I really should expand these pens a little bit better, but I just haven't had the time to do that yet. Or even wanted to, because once we get our automatic cookers and stuff up, it's just going to be a lot easier to get all these guys bred. Automatic breeders and everything. Alright, and then the cows. Cows, I really can't mess them up, because they are my... They've been my main food source. I know we're eating pig right now, we're eating pork chop, but the cows have really been my main food source and stuff. We get leather from them, so I need the, them to be pretty, pretty healthy. Oh, we're so close. Please give me the 30. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at this! It's the Octopig! No, it's the Infinity Pig! <laughs> what are these guys doing? They're crazy guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Another four eggs? Yes, we got one, baby. It's good. Alright, see, look at that. Our farms on it doesn't even seem like it's going that fast. Or, um, harvesting that. We're not even harvesting it that fast, I'd say. Whatever. Alright. 30 levels. Let's see what our enchant options, enchant options are, and then we will uh, be good for today's episode. So... Got to get all of our actual items that we test these enchants with. Got the lapis there. Not going to do any diamond enchants, I don't think, today. Unless they one presents itself that look nice. So, protection three, helmet. Unbreaking three boots. Projectile protection, so definitely not that one. And protection three, that could be good. All right, a book. Please give me a good book. Power four. I already have enough power four bows. So that might not be bad. Efficiency 4. We have been using the axe a lot, so maybe unbreaking 3. Efficiency 4. These will be efficiency 4. Maybe not. I want to test that the stone and the iron are the same. Yeah, they are for that. Okay, so do I have anything else I can really enchant? I have a fishing rod. Don't have a bow, actually. Let's just see if we can do a bow. Where'd our bow go? I know we have some down here. They might be close to being broken, but I know we have some. Forgot I. Didn't have a base bow here. All right, this one's power four as well. I don't know. Is any of our armor close, super close being broken? That's brand new. It's so not a helmet, and the leggings weren't a good enchant. What's all right, I think? Un, I think protection three on the iron might be good because that's it's close to breaking. I would do the leggings or that. I think protection three on the this will be good. I don't know why it's not giving us protection four. Because we have the max level enchant. It's a level 30 enchant. It's the max level. And I know we're going to be wasting some levels. I, I really do want protection four, but protection three is better than nothing. We'll have to replace that because it's going to about to break right now. So protection three on our iron chest plate. Please give me unbreaking. Darn. No unbreaking. It is what it is. It is what it is. Because I think we might have... There's another protection three. Well, I knew we had two. So I might want to make this into a protection four. Could do that right now. Protection four iron chest plate. Should we do it? Let's go for it right now. All right, let's do it. 
I'm thinking about it and might as well. Is there anything else we just get out of the way? Feather falling, feather falling. Can't get feather falling five, sadly. Protection. Protection three. Ooh, that has... Uh, actually, no, never mind. Um, protection three right there. Protection two. Okay. And we have interesting stuff. It's just not... Oh, we could do that sharpness two and that sharpness two. And it'll give us also fire aspect on it. Because that, that'll make it a sharpness three fire aspect. So that's better than nothing. And then do we have any sharpness three irons? That's unbreaking three. Smite. Let's combine these two. Might as well. Like, I'm just going to have a good iron sword because I don't want to waste diamonds right now. I don't have enough to do diamonds. Stuff. So Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 3, and Fire Aspect 1. That's a good sword. It really is. And the Diamond ones I'm going to save for now. Anything else I could do? I should combine these. I don't know why I haven't done... I haven't done that yet either. Efficiency 4 at Fortune 3. Efficiency 4, Unbreak. So that's going to be Efficiency 5. I don't know if I have enough levels though. 14. 18. Okay, yeah. 14 is what I want to do. Um, but so that'll give us efficiency five, fortune three, and unbreaking. That'll be a really good diamond pickaxe. I don't think we'll need any other enchants on that. That's fourteen levels, so we'll save up for that. And we don't need that right now. If we're going to, going to go mining soon. Maybe we will go mining next episode. So I want to get fourteen levels quickly. But that is probably what we're going to end it on today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Got a couple rooms done. I guess I will try to finish those last two rooms off camera, at least on the bottom floor. Then maybe we'll do another couple rooms of the upstairs floor together on camera and then finish the upstairs off camera. Because I want to really try to get that done as much as possible. I don't want to bore you guys because I know a lot of you guys do just like the adventuring and the dungeoning and stuff like that and mining. But I know a lot of you guys also like the building creative side to Minecraft. I like both, so I'm trying to please everybody. I'm sorry I can't please everybody with this video, but I'll do the best I can. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you're already new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps out a ton. Follow me on Twitter to be the first to know when I release a new video. Make sure you're sharing the video, showing your friends, family, whoever you think will enjoy them. Um, give, bring a smile to their face. Give them some entertainment. I'd much appreciate that. So let's tell you guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you on my next video.